A lot of times growing your own food is a rewarding experience, but sometimes it can feel like you're chasing a fart in a fan factory. Our setbacks are opportunities to learn and grow. So in this video, I'm going to show you how not to grow potatoes so that you can learn from my mistakes and have a bountiful harvest. I am Christina with Forever Food Forest, a channel where I explore ways of growing food without the use of pesticides, herbicides, or commercial fertilizers. And instead, I rely on permaculture principles and other natural farming techniques to grow food that's good for the garden and good for the planet. So let's get started. Even though potatoes are fairly cheap and easy to come by at the store, I like growing my own, mainly because I want to avoid pesticides and other chemicals that come with anything store-bought these days. Potatoes are super easy to grow too, and I take potato growing very seriously. You see, when I was growing up, and most kids in the USA were playing with a Mr. Potato Head, I was back in the Soviet Union digging potatoes all summer so that my family could survive through the winter. That was a very bad reenactment. This season's harvest was humbling. I put over four pounds of potatoes in the ground and got back just a little over a pound. That's half a kilogram for those of you on the metric system. But it was the taste test that really had me screaming. It's time for the final test, the taste test. Oh, this one has a, it'll be fine. Well, we're, we'll cut it. Cut it out. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, I just cut the potato open and this bug crawled out of there and that was, well, that was disturbing. But that's what happens. That's how you know it's organic and not treated with any pesticides. Let's do that taste test. Oh, this one had a little hole in it too. Hopefully it's uh, not loaded with extra protein. It's not that it's bad, but the skin just has a really weird texture and it feels like you're eating a lizard, like a scaly lizard. So not good. I should have peeled these. That was, that's, that's the problem. Because if you look at the skin, look at this, it looks like a lizard reptile. That it, I don't recommend, but here's a plain potato. Oh, no, that's a good potato. So other than flavor, it turns out that this method for growing spuds turned out to be a dud. I mean, if we relied on surviving the winter from that harvest, we probably wouldn't even survive the summer. But I did learn three very valuable lessons that I'm here to share with you. My first mistake was using fresh wood chips. Potatoes are not particularly picky about the kind of soil that they grow in. They can even grow in straw. I heard about the no-till back to Eden method and I was eager to try it. All I had was fresh wood chips and realizing that the fresh wood chips would suck the nitrogen out of the soil and their surroundings, I decided to compensate for that by adding a source of nitrogen rabbit manure. I mixed it all together and created a perfect environment for insects to live in. So the lesson is use aged wood chips. The wood chips need to age for at least six months, maybe even longer, and then you can use them to grow your potatoes. Lesson learned. My second mistake was planting the potatoes too late in the season. Potatoes are a cool season crop and they set the most tubers when temperatures, when the soil temperature is around 55 degrees. Now, I was hoping that we would get a late spring cold snap, but instead we got a heat wave and my plants were not able to set many tubers and my harvest suffered. So the lesson is 
Check your forecast. My third mistake was not using any pesticides. I didn't even plant any companion plants or trap crops. What am I, nuts? Now, I know, I know at the beginning of the video, I said I didn't want to use any chemicals or pesticides, but right now in the market, we do have some natural insecticides that target problem pests specifically. I had a problem with cutworms. Oh, they're my nemesis. So I can't help but wonder, had I used BT and sprayed the potatoes earlier in the season, if I would have been able to save some more plants and maybe have a bigger harvest. I guess I'll never know, but the lesson is I can always try next year. Gardening is an opportunity to grow, not just plants, but also as a person. You see, not every harvest is going to be a bountiful harvest, but every growing season has a lesson. And the more lessons we learn, the better we get along the way. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you like that button and if you want to see more content like this make sure you're subscribed uh, hopefully this video was informative if you have any tips for growing potatoes drop them in the comments below and until next time grow with your garden <laughs> bye bye